I understand that your brother did a lot of work on Gorillas and Apes. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Woo! This week we're back with Bella Lugosi for another film that is patently beneath him. You have no idea what I've gone through in the last few months. This time it's The Ape Man, in which we see Lugosi as never before. Oh no, he's shacked up with a gorilla. Well, what do you think of that? I think it's a little weird, to be honest. That makes sure. But, of course, it's not as simple as that. Lugosi is a scientist who's tested his latest serum on himself. Unfortunately, it was a great success. A success? So, this is what you were trying to do? What a mess. Actually, Lugosi remains surprisingly articulate, because apparently a gorilla is just a human with a beard and a bad back. And, of course, occasional bouts of homicidal rage. I which is why he locks himself up. Elsewhere, we have a creepy guy who follows everyone around for some reason. Hey, sir. Uh, are you going to town? Yeah. Fine. Go right ahead. And the heroes are the inevitable wise-ass reporter. What went by when I wasn't looking? And the female photographer who really should just get back in the kitchen. A little touch-up on the hair, a new pair of lips, and you're as good as new. Now, given that he masterminds several ape-assisted murders... <laughs> and strangles his own sister, you'd think that Lugosi would feel the need to lock himself up again. But does he? Come to think of it, no. Not even once. It's just an arresting way of introducing the character. And this is a problem throughout. There's no consistency. He must have human spinal fluid. Lugosi needs human spinal fluid to turn him back into a man. But there's a problem. That fluid must be taken from a living person. And yet he kills everyone before taking it. Dr. Brewster. Yes. Dr. Brewster. The reporter can't spell clue. He does look like him, doesn't he? Lugosi's sister is a ghost hunter who makes records of ghosts. frankly sounds more interesting than the rest of the plot. But has no bearing on anything else that happens. Oh, leave me alone. Also, she has an American accent and no effort is made to explain why two siblings sound so different. Prepare yourself for a great most perplexingly, at the end, the gorilla who helped Lugosi kill, with whom he seems perfectly chummy, with whom he can even talk, suddenly turns on him for no reason. Yes, the honeymoon's over. But it's just beginning for the irritating reporter who snags the girl with a typically 1940s chat-up line. You know, I want you over my knee and paddle you good. What a lucky girl. Very funny. Very funny. But we end on the film's big twist. Who was that weird guy who kept following people? Me? Oh, I'm the author of the story. Screwy idea, wasn't it? Well, if screwy is a synonym for total bullshit, then yeah, screwy it is. If you've got a film you'd like us to review, leave a comment below. Click here to subscribe, here to see more reviews, or if you'd like to see our latest top ten, click down there.